You can use several drawing aids in combination to ensure that the geometry you draw is created accurately. I'm going to come down to the status bar and right click on the snap mode button and choose settings from the shortcut menu to display the snap and grid tab of the drafting settings dialog. As you can see, the snap spacing is currently set to one unit in both the X and Y direction. In the grid spacing area, you can see that the grid is also set to one unit in both the X and Y direction. Notice that in addition to using the button on the status bar, you can turn the grid on by selecting this checkbox or by pressing the F7 key. And in addition to the Snap Mode button on the status bar, you can turn the Snap Mode on by either selecting this checkbox or by pressing the F9 key. And here's a tip. If you know that you're always going to want the grid spacing to display using the same X and Y spacing as the snap spacing, change the grid X spacing and grid Y spacing values to zero. This way, you only have to set the X and Y snap spacing values. The grid will automatically use the same spacing values as snap. With that change made, I'll click OK. Now notice that as I move the cursor, it automatically snaps to one unit increments, and those increments correspond to the grid. Notice that I currently have snap mode and the grid turned on. I'm also going to turn on ortho mode. This will ensure that every line segment I draw will be either horizontal or vertical. Then I'll start the line command by clicking the line tool in the draw panel on the home ribbon tab. And then I'll click here on the right quadrant of the circle to specify the starting point of my line. Because the circle was also drawn using the same snap increment, I know that the point I selected is located perfectly on the circle. Then I can drag my cursor to the right. And notice that with ortho mode turned on, I don't even have to be that accurate. AutoCAD forces the line to be horizontal, and since the grid and snap increments are the same, the line automatically snaps to those increments. When the line touches the other circle, I'll click to specify the endpoint, and then press the Enter key, the Escape key, or right-click and choose Enter from the shortcut menu to end the command. Then I can repeat the command by pressing the space bar and draw a vertical line from this circle to the one above it. Again, the cursor snaps right to the grid, because snap mode is also turned on, and the grid dots correspond to the snap increment. And again, with ortho mode turned on, I don't have to worry as much about accuracy, because ortho mode forces the line to be vertical. I can even have my cursor off here a bit to the left. Once I pick the end point of the line, I'll press Enter to end the command. Then I can repeat the line command again. This time I'll right click and choose repeat line from the shortcut menu. I'll draw a line segment from here to here. So by using the snap, grid, and ortho mode in combination, I can quickly and accurately draw geometry in AutoCAD.